Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about optimized link state routing protocol. This topic is present in the subject ad hoc and wireless sensor networks. Wireless sensor networks routing issues. Routing is a challenging one in wireless sensor network since wireless sensor network has more number of small sensor nodes it is not feasible to assign global identification for the sensor nodes so ip addressing based routing protocols will not help in wireless sensor networks furthermore since each sensor node is constrained in resources power and memory storage it requires efficient resource allocation and management schemes wireless sensor network routing representation is shown here in this representation the information is present in the sensor nodes the sensor nodes send the information to the cluster head in the particular cluster the cluster heads in turn collect the information to the base station from the base station through the internet the data that is been collected by the sensor nodes is distributed to the data server now from the data server the information may go to the storage or it may go to the end user the end user may be of variety of types and this is indicated in this representation here is an another representation of wireless sensor network routing the sensor nodes collect the information it has been passed to the base station from the base station it has been passed to the user through the internet A routing analogy is easily understood with the help of the insects ant as and honeybee major issues and the challenges of wireless sensor network routing are as follows the first issue is energy constraint the second one is scalability third issue is transmission media fourth issue is frequent occurrence of failure the fifth issue is hardware constraint the sixth issue is environment the seventh issue is ad hoc deployment the eighth issue is quality of service the ninth issue is topology maintenance the tenth issue is power constraints the eleventh issue is fault tolerance the twelfth issue is sensor region the thirteenth issue is constraints for sensor nodes and the fourteenth is uvs communication failure Optimized link state routing protocol (OLSR). The optimized link state routing is one of the table-driven or proactive routing protocols in which each node maintains all possible routes. It is an optimization or improvement of link state protocols, that is LSP. The basic concepts and the operation of OLSR routing protocol is explained in the following sections here is a flow chart representing the optimized link state routing protocol here the first step is discover neighboring nodes the second is select optimum mps set the third is topology control broadcast the fourth is construct routing table and the next step is manage routing this process repeats until the exact routing is been identified basic concepts of optimized link state routing protocol in olsr the neighbors information are periodically exchanged as link state information the control packet overhead can be reduced using multi point relays that is mpr 
A MPR is a one hop neighbor node and is chosen as a forwarder node to forward packets. MPS are used to optimize the link state protocols and also used to find the shortest path to a destination. Each node maintains MPS in a set called MPS set. Furthermore, each node also maintains a MPR selector set. A MPR selector set is the set of neighbor nodes that have selected the node as a MPR. OLSF protocol works in two phases, namely neighbor discovery and topology dissemination. Phase 1 neighbor discovery. OLSR uses three types of control messages that are namely hello message, topology control that is TC message and multiple interface declaration that is MID. A hello message is exchanged periodically with each of the nodes. Each hello message contains information about its neighbors the MPS selector set and neighbor interface address. Here is a representation. The red color node represents the multipoint relay node. The white color node represents the source node. The yellow color node represents the one hop neighbor. And green color node represents the two hop neighbor. After receiving Hello message from every neighbor node. A node can select MPS from one hop neighbors. Each node maintains three tables, namely, first is neighbor table, the second one is topology table, and the third is routing table. Consider the neighbor discovery phase. Suppose there are two nodes node i and node j present in the network. Both the nodes have not been established a path between each other so far. Assume that node i first broadcast an empty hollow message. When node j receives this message, it registers in its routing table that the link to node i is asymmetric that is no bidirectional link between the nodes then node j broadcasts a hello message by stating that node i as an asymmetric neighbor to node j on a receipt of this hello message node i registers the link to node j as symmetric Node I will in turn broadcast a hello message by stating that node J as a symmetric neighbor and node J registers node I as a symmetric neighbor. The information received from hello message is stored in neighbor table. Topology dissemination each node broadcasts TC messages including information about MPS selector list and the network topology using multipoint relay mechanism. The node which receives TC message will maintain topological information in topology table. After receiving a packet, each node checks MPS selector set in the packet to see whether the sender has chosen the node as a MPR or not. If so, the packet will be forwarded by the node. Else, the packet is discarded at the node. A MID message is used for informing that a node is operating OLSR on more than one neighbor interface. 
the mid message is broadcast by the mps the routing table maintained at each node may be updated periodically whenever there is a change in network topology route computation before packet transmission route has to be established between the sender and the receiver nodes the dj k s t r a s dijkstra's shortest path algorithm is used for finding route between nodes the route calculation procedure can be initiated when a change is found in either of the following that is the link set the neighbor set the two hop neighbor set the topology set or the mpr set routing table can be computed from neighbor table and topology table the shortest path is maintained in the routing table when a node wants to communicate with the other node it first checks the routing table to identify route between sender and the receiver nodes once it found the route then handshaking procedure will be carried out using rts slash cds mechanism after that actual data transmission will be taken place thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends thank you